Woofoo! Your nails are way too long. Time for a trim. But I just cut them last month. Your nails always grow. I'll explain why. Let knowledge click. Your nails aren't just for decoration or scratching. They also protect the tips of your fingers. Under your nail, there's a special area called the matrix. Like a factory that's always working. New cells are made and push the old ones up. Together, they build your nail and push it out. That's how your nail grows longer. Even if you don't feel it, your nails grow a little every day. On average, a fingernail grows about 3 mm each month. So my nails are growing now? Hmm. Huh? Exactly. And since they keep growing, if you don't trim them often, they can get too long and cause all kinds of trouble. That's not everything. Long nails are a perfect hiding place for germs and dirt. If you don't wash your hands well, the germs can sneak into your tummy. From now on, I'll check my nails every week. Let me clip them for you. <laughs> Stay tuned for our next exploration. So sweaty. Oh. Mm -hmm. Do you know why we have sweaty hands? Let knowledge click. <laughs> when your body temperature rises due to a physical activity, the brain receives a signal and sends a warning to the sweat glands. Sweat glands are found all over your body. On your face, neck, back. But they are most active on your hands. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Besides playing sports, we can also get sweaty hands in other situations, such as when you eat spicy or hot food, huh? or when you feel anxious or scared. <laughs> Sweaty hands are so annoying. <laughs> you can deal with sweaty hands using a simple method. Wash your yeah. hands thoroughly. Yeah. Mm. Carry a handkerchief to wipe them when needed. Cool your hands down by holding a cup of ice water. Why are you guys running away from me? Did you know why our breath can smell bad, just like with you? Less knowledge, click! First, let's find out where bad breath comes from. Your mouth is a home to many microorganisms and bacteria. <laughs> they help with the digestion or protect you from certain diseases. After a long day of working hard, just like us, they will look for food, which is the leftover food particle in your mouth. The bacteria will start breaking down the food particles, which then produce certain smelly gases. <laughs> There are other causes that can make your breath smell even worse.
But don't worry. You can improve oh. this by... Wow. <laughs> brushing your teeth at least twice a day. Woo. Drinking enough water. Oh. Don't let your mouth get dry. Oh. And remember to visit the dentist every six months. The dentist will help you check your teeth and clean them too. Why is there a chili on this? What's wrong with you, Daddy? <laughs> oh. That's huh? because he hmm. ate spicy food. <laughs> I can tell you why. Let knowledge click. Oh. Did you know? Spicy uh. isn't really a taste like sweet, sour, or salty. <laughs> <laughs> Chili peppers have special chemical inside. <laughs> when it touches your tongue, it tickles your nerves and makes your mouth feel all hot and burny. The nerves send a message to your brain. Your brain thinks you're really burning. So, it tells your body to cool down. Like making your heart beat fast, your eyes cry, and your skin sweat. Even though you're not really hot. Oh, But I drank water. Why is my mouth still on fire? The spicy chemical doesn't mix with water. Drinking water just spreads the heat. To cool it down, try something with fat or starch, like ice cream, milk, butter, rice or bread. <sighs> they can wash away the spicy and calm your mouth fast. <laughs> But why do some people like spicy food? <laughs> For some people, spicy food makes their taste buds tingle and gives them a fun feeling, like riding a roller coaster. Uh-oh! I swallowed it! Do you know what will happen if we swallow gums? Let knowledge click! <laughs> this place will be all mine! Hmm. Oh, no. <sighs> Don't worry, it won't be that bad! When we chill, the sustains in our saliva mixed with the chewing gum. When this mixture is swallowed, it quickly comes into contact with the acid in the stomach. Due to the chewy structure of gum, it is difficult for it to break down. How can my stomach get rid of them then? Don't worry, even though chewing gum can be digested, your stomach will still push it out within about three days, just oh. like other food. Swallowing one piece of chewing gum isn't dangerous. But you shouldn't swallow too many. Be sure to tell when it does right away if you accidentally do. 